city and or town of Tombstone here in Southern Arizona. Yeah, 4,539 in elevation. So yeah, they do get snow here. Tombstone, very historic place. This would be the, the downtown part of Tombstone. Yes, it is. It's always nice to come back after many years and see it again. definitely gonna do some walking here not like a whole ton of walking but it's gonna it's gonna be sub the city park here and this is here yeah, this is the center of town here in Tombstone where they have gunfights here for show Yeah, this is the theme park here in Tombstone. Yeah, there's free admission, but for the gunfights, yeah, you gotta pay. You can see view of the valley here, here in Tombstone. bit of Marty Robbins playing in the background and very appropriate for a town like this. Big iron on his head. Yeah, this is a pan for gold. No alcohol beyond this point. The main center of town here in Tombstone, Arizona. Yeah, a lot of saloons and western wear, yeah, gift shops, restaurants, and all the 
Stuff that comes with a touristy place. City of Tombstone. Need some break bars in the back. Like wheelchair. Yeah, this used to be fully functioning. No, not mm -hmm. anymore. It had its glory days. Yeah. Looks like it's run down a little bit. Town of St. David, 3,676 feet in elevation. Here in Arizona, a few miles down the road from Benson and Tombstone. I'm going to show you a little bit of the, the town here in the neighborhood of St. David. what it's like to be here. Yeah, town of St. David. Highway 80, going to Benson here in St. St. David, so six miles to Benson, just a few miles down the road. Benson. It is a very busy highway. You're on the eighty. This is the main artery here in Benson. This 
It's a Greyhound bus stop. This is an Amtrak stop here in Benson. Yeah, go to check out the airport here in uh, Benson. So, anytime I'm on the road, I always like looking at these uh, airports. Whether they be giant or tiny, you know, I, I want to, I want to see it. So, I'm going to go check five miles, which ain't much. Then I'm gonna hop back on the ten to go to Tucson. Benson Municipal Airport, all this property, is the airport area. these roads you get some pretty nice mountain views when traveling right. on Arizona roads and some of these views are just breathtaking of a wrong turn but now I'm on the right path to go to the airport here so, it's three miles it's a dismantled plane right there in this mini junkyard well, it's at the end of this road near Benson Airport beyond these gates It, Benson Airport. Nothing fancy. Yeah, nothing too extravagant, but it is a municipal airport. Mm -hmm. So this is a this is here in Benson. This is the I-10 East and West. I will catch that, but I have a, a tiny fuel stop. This is a lake here in one of these uh, senior communities, 55 and over. Looks nice lit up at night too. They have some uh, colored, colored lights on these trees. I 
I exited I-10 West here in Casa Grande to go check out the airport here. Okay, it says it's this exit, but it doesn't say to the left or right, so I'm just going to play it by ear here on McCartney Road. Wow, that's an amazing sunset. Breathtaking views of the valley. So I'm headed in the right direction after exiting the freeway to go to the Casa Grande Airport. The translation to that means big house. A lot of cities and towns here in Arizona have Spanish names. Grande Municipal Airport at night. The sun hasn't completely set, but it is evening time. much activity going on here. Yeah, it's all closed and yeah, check out that military airplane over there. Here at Casa Grande Airport.